Okay, so same format for the manager, all questions in English. We'll start with Sky at the front, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mauricio, we're told that obviously Deli Ali is with you uh, in this travelling party. Can you give us an update on his condition, his hand, and how much of a chance does he have of playing tomorrow night? Well, we, we need to assess him. He's go we are going to have the, the last training session today and then to decide if it can be possible to start from the beginning, or start the 11 or, or on the bench. We need to assess him tomorrow, uh, today. And Hyungmin Son, um, again, got more plaudits over the weekend. I think one pundit described him as your player of the season so far. Is this a real opportunity for him now in Harry Kane's absence to step into the, the striking shoes, potentially fire you into a Champions League semi-final? I think it's, uh, of course, of course uh, he's doing a fantastic job uh, this season. After November, I am so happy with him. Before, I think you know very well that after the World Cup, he was involved in the Asian Cup. And on the end, in, in January, was involved in another competition in, in Asia. And um, it was difficult for him. But uh, yes, I am happy. But I think it's not about only Son. It's about the offensive player when um, um, it's not going to be Harry Kane and the, the, the player need to step up. But I think uh, with Harry Kane, um, Sonny was doing a fantastic job. Another player the same. Um, and now I think we need, um, like always, um, the collective effort, um, be strong and to have the belief and the mentality to go um, and to fight. That is the, the most important on the end. Maurizio Guardiola's had huge success as a manager since 2008 when he won his first trophy. Is that sort of sustained success what every manager dreams of? Sorry, if... Um, I, if, if, is that the sort of sustained success, the regular success? Is that what every manager dreams of, what Pep has done in his managerial career? Yes, of course, he's very... I think... Um, I don't remember, and sorry if I am wrong, but I think he won 25 or 26... I am not sure, 24. Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't remember, really remember. I think he's uh, one of the most or the most uh, successful manager in in the last 10 years, for sure. Uh, he's not another uh, like him. Of course, uh, that for me, win a title with Tottenham is a massive dream. Look to, to win... 25 or 26 or 24, I don't know. Eh? I, I am not sure. Uh, it's more than a dream for any any coach or any manager in the world. I think what he, what uh, is doing him uh, in Barcelona, Bayern Munich, or now in Manchester City is uh, is unbelievable. Uh, show his quality, um, how good uh, is him. And of course, for us, uh, it's not easy, uh, you know. Uh, I think we measure our success, different coaches uh, earning different things. I think in, in Espanol or in Southampton and now in Tottenham, in different projects to, to Barcelona, Bayern Munich or Manchester, Manchester City. I think we need to settle our objective maybe in a different level. Um, but of course, I think it's, um, uh, any, any coach can dream uh, to be maybe a one percent uh, successful like, like uh, Guardiola is. Okay, okay. Right, Jamie, no? Jamie and then he's, Luke. Hi, Mauricio. Um, both um, Crystal Palace and Leon have won here this season. Leon, obviously, in the Champions League. I wondered if you looked at those games, you know, to see if you could learn anything about how to beat City. Okay. No, Manchester City tomorrow is going to be completely different in this when play as a final like he's going to play tomorrow. Um, I think it's not uh, are not a games that can give some information to us or to uh, to, or to or to use, you know. Um, 
I think the reference is the, is the game that we play uh, one week ago. The reference is when we play again. And of course, the competition is completely different and the circumstances are completely different. And of course, uh, it's going to be tough tomorrow. I think Manchester City, for me, is uh, the, one of the best uh, team on the world. And of course, it's a clear favourite to win the, the, the Premier League and win the, the Champions League. Uh, for us, uh, to beat them on the, on the fair legs uh, was an, an amazing result. Uh, but we know very well that uh, the tie is still open and of course tomorrow is going to be too, very, very, very tough. Um, um, but uh, what we have is the belief and the faith that we can be strong and, and we are going to fight. That is the most important in football and then to hope and wish to have a very good performance and and then not so good um, and to have a little bit lucky because you need in in all the competition or in all the game uh, in a in a important moment or period on on the game and of course uh, be ready to to profit that circumstance but of course that tomorrow is going to be an amazing challenge and, and fight uh, i am so motivated i am so excited um, to play tomorrow okay we got a question from luke i think if you can pass the microphone to the gentleman three rows behind you i'm richo um Given the result in the first leg and, and the amount of money that Manchester City have spent, the, the, the manager they have, is there more pressure, huge pressure on Manchester City tomorrow to progress in the Champions League more than there is on Tottenham? No, I don't want to talk about that. You know, uh, of course, the, the reality is the reality. We, we don't need to talk about the reality. We need to talk about that uh, we are going to be 11 by 11 on the pitch. And, and of course, to forget... Uh, um, everything and, and try to, to win the game and to fight and to challenge them, you know. Um, I am a person, I am a coach that never uh, put excuse uh, after and never before, you know. Um, you describe a reality uh, and it, the reality is there, but uh, tomorrow we are going to, to be on the pitch trying to win the game. And like Hugo said before, happen what happened, I think... Um, um, we are going to be more than proud about our um, run in the on the Champions League, arriving to the to the quarter final and, and challenge a, a team like uh, Manchester City. But that that doesn't mean that tomorrow we are not going to fight. To be proud on the end, happen what happened, doesn't mean that tomorrow we are going to to be there and we are not going to fight. We are going to, trying to fight and to believe that we can beat them, of course. Okay. Question from this gentleman here. Here, yeah. Mr. Andrea Riscassi from Rai. If you pass and go to semi-final, will you prefer Juventus or Ajax? Uh, like <laughs> <laughs> you are so 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 far. <laughs> I think uh, we are still um, we are preparing and we are thinking in the battle of tomorrow. It's like uh, you know, um, it's going to be a massive battle. We cannot think in another thing that is tomorrow eight o'clock, you know, um, because um, I don't know eight or seven. No? What time we play tomorrow? Eight. Eight, eight o'clock. I am thinking in, in Spain to the, the games today because we were talking about the um, yes eight o'clock eight tomorrow. We ca we cannot think in, in, in after. I think it's. Um, First of all, because um, we need to think that it's a lot of work to do and, and it's going to be tough. All the energy, we need to keep all the energy for tomorrow. Okay. Hello, Mauricio. Uh, Jose Álvarez para El Chiringuito, España. Uh, in Spain... In English only. Yeah, I'm only saying hi. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in no, because it's jealous, because uh, no one worry in Spanish. Yeah, you know? I heard at the beginning the advice, but, so I will try in English. In Spain, we know the, your sport rivalry with uh, Guardiola since you were in Barcelona, Espanol. Uh, it's a big challenge for you tomorrow. It's a little bit more motivating to do it against him. No, 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 it's not a, it's not more motivate or, or bigger challenge. Uh, I think the challenge is that uh, Guardiola is... Uh, Maybe the best, the best, or one of the best uh, managers in the world. Um, we were talking before 
I think he won uh, 24, 25, 26, I don't know. Uh, with all my respect, I don't know, but um, I think uh, we are talking about one of the most successful managers uh, in the last 10 years. And of course, uh, I am a Spanish fan, I am I'm going to, to support Espanol and I play more than 10 years in Espanol. I coach Espanol for nearly five years. And, you know, it's normal. He was in Barcelona all his career, like, a, like nearly his career, like a player. And, and then we start nearly in the same time uh, our career like a, like a coach, uh, him in Barcelona and, and me in, in Espanol. And, but make a special the situation because we have, yes, good friend uh, in between. It's a lot of good friend that he have in the in his uh, coaching staff teams like uh, Mikel Arteta or Edu Mauri or Lorenzo Bonaventura all uh, all these people all good friends and you know um, I think it's of course is is the challenge is the, the motivation but at the same time it's a nice nice to see them because we met in Barcelona playing a lot when we were players, when we were managers and there and now in England, in Manchester, in, in London, playing in quarterfinal on, on, on Champions League, of course, that for me is a massive dream. For them, maybe not too much, uh, but for, for us, of course, it's a, it's a massive, massive, massive thing. Okay. Taking a question from over there. Hi, uh, Ingrid Hi. from TV2 Norway. Uh, your former teammate, Ronaldinho, he says that he thinks Spurs are going to win the Champions League this year. What would be your comment to him? What he said, sorry, Ronaldinho? Ronaldinho, he says that I think that Tottenham is going to win the Champions League this year. Ah, uh, yes? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, he knows a lot about football and we need to respect him. He was a great teammate. When we play together in Paris Saint Germain, um, and, uh, we spend amazing time together on the pitch, training ground, no outside, uh, and you know why. Um, no, I think it's uh, yes. Uh, why not? In football, all can happen. You know, uh, like in life, like in, in everything, uh, you must to believe, and you have to, you need to have faith. Um, and trust in yourself, in your capacity, in your quality. Um, it's good that the people trust, or people like Ronaldinho believe that we have the quality to, to win. Um, it's good for our player to listen to that, because if Ronaldinho says that, uh, we, we need to uh, increase our belief. If we increase our belief, maybe tomorrow we will be capable to, to beat an amazing team uh, like uh, Manchester City. Um, football is about enjoy. I learned a lot from him, how he took the football, always dancing, always smiling. You know, um, football is not a drama. Football is a is a is a sport that if you want to play well, if you want to show your real quality and capacity, you must to be happy and you need to smile. No. And I learned a lot from the Brazilian player, but uh, from Ronaldinho uh, spending nearly three years was an amazing uh, experience for me. OK, take a question at the front here. Hi, Maurizio. Um, after the game last week, Ilkay Gundogan said that City had a negative reaction when Aguero missed the penalty and that contributed to City losing the game. And I don't want to minimise the efforts that your players made, but do you think or did you notice that there was a, a, a difference in the game and how it was going before and after the penalty? I, I don't know what he said. Uh, I cannot go in uh, in day and, and be, uh, go into the day minds. Uh, you know, only they know how they feel or they felt after to miss the penalty. Of course, in, in some point, football is about emotions, you know. Uh, for me, football, always we talk about that the, uh, football is a context of emotion and all that happened during the, some period on the game can be key. Um, and of course, maybe if you miss a penalty, maybe you drop your, your focus, your concentration, you know. I don't know, I, I cannot be... Um, disrespectful, I, or I cannot uh, say something that maybe is not right. Only, only the player that were on the pitch can f feel or they felt that maybe 
uh, was tough after to, to miss a penalty, but uh, like happened with us in, in some different situation, when you consider chances or when you miss uh, some action or when you, you know, how affect the, 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 the game, how affect uh, personal, uh, the personal things or the personal uh, character on the, on the pitch, uh, that is uh, unpredictable because, of course, that after many years that you share with your player, you know how they are going to react. That is why I, I, I cannot say a proper, uh, I cannot have a proper opinion about that. Only trusting what uh, they said, or in this in this case, he said, and and he said that is because uh, you need to 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 trust and and to and to listen. Okay, I have a question for Mauricio. Mauricio. Here. Uh, Ziamonso with BN Sports. I want to touch about the emotions that you talked about. City have a great record here at home. They are a team that always scores early. How do you expect your team to deal with it mentally if City score early, like they usually do here, here at the Etihad? You know, uh, it's impossible to, to, to guess. It's impos impossible to, to predict what is going to happen tomorrow. You know, we know very well all this uh, date um, and how they start the games. Uh, that is the theory. We are all world, cha world champions on the preparing or preparing the plan or, or giving advice before to play or using one or another setup. The most important after is the player must do delivery on the on the pitch and, and being strong and and of course um, how the opponent is going to behave. It's, it's true. It's a lot of circumstances that can happen in football that you cannot uh, be sure that is uh, you are going to control. That is why football is how it is. You know, um, it's so it's so unpredictable and and can change uh, quick in a small thing and can make the, the the big difference. That is why. We know very well. We know very well uh, that they they are so strong. They start so aggressive. They put a very high tempo from the beginning. Yes, that is a challenge to try to stop them. Uh, this is a challenge. That is a challenge to to try to to be off offensive, to be aggressive, uh, to try to play in the opposite half. Uh, we know that is going to to be tough. Uh, they always dominate the, the the opponent because they have unbelievable quality. Um, and of course, uh, but you know, uh, we need to believe that we can stop them. We need to believe that we can uh, uh, show our quality tomorrow and can and can beat them. Um, but of course, it's not a, a secret or it's not a plan that is going to work. Sure, one hundred percent that is going to work tomorrow. Of course, that the plan is to. To convince the player that we can uh, deliver uh, the job and we can do some um, something that we uh, that allowed us or, or be close to to be them, but and then of course uh, it's a lot of circumstances that can happen on the pitch. Okay, apologies. I think we're going to have to make this the last one because I'm conscious training's about to start. Emirates Jack, go. but I am comfortable. Eh? Yeah, okay, we'll keep going. Yeah, yeah. No okay. Emirates it's go. not too too many time to, to play. Quarter finals, eh? You know, okay. let me to enjoy a little bit. You tell on. me when you want to finish. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you know, I was, uh, I think, my, in some circumstances, was like this. I think it was before to play uh, Catalonia Cup. I won three in a row. Three three times in a row. Catalonia Cups. Yeah. <laughs> and now a quarter final Champions League is not the same, eh? eh? Rizzo, you, you, were, you were talking about, just then you were talking about enjoying being in. Champions League quarter final. Who? Talk. You have you have to in, enjoy being at this stage. Yes, yes. Given your playing budget is far smaller than some of your rivals across Europe, how do you how do you view the Champions League? Do you set any targets or expectations for yourselves at the start of the season, or do you just go and enjoy it and see how far you, you get? The question. Is Ah, I think it's, uh, you know, in the moment that you decide and in the moment that um, you have all the tools to start the competition, you know, you need to start to, to, to stop yeah, and think if we don't have budget or we have money or not, or we are going to compete with different clubs that have more, uh, you know, um, 
or have different plan uh, than us. Um, in the moment that you close your your squad and you have the player, I think it's it's about to 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 believe on them and and try to create the the, the plan to try to success because we are ambitious. We are here not because uh, we love only to play football because we love to compete and we love to win. You know and and of course maybe. If you compare us with another team, uh, maybe we are in a different position, financial position, or different uh, strategy, or different uh, plan in the last uh, four or five years, and we are achieving a, lo a lot of a lot of things that maybe, if you go back, maybe no one believe, but now. In that stage, when you are going to play uh, in in this type of competition, uh, you must to forget and you need to compete. And on the end, is uh, two teams that are going to compete for the same thing: that is to win and be in the semi-final. Um, you know, um, of course, it's going to win wha who deserve to win. And on the end, um, we need to congratulate one another. But you know, I'm not going to complain. I think when you are in the competition, you are in the competition. You can complain. Okay, before to start the season, maybe you need uh, to build your team. If your expectation is to win the Premier League, maybe you need to make bigger, biggest, uh, bigger investment, or sign player, uh, or I don't know, um, to have different budget, or to have different ideas how you are going to build your your squad. Uh, of course, that that is. It's going to be when when we finish the the season. It's going to be the 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 the, the, the big things because, uh, like I told you, for me is uh, after this season is going to be five year. A, ch a chapter is going to be closed. We need to start another chapter, and we need to translate to our fans and you, of course, um, what we want to to do. Uh, which is our uh, challenge for the next uh, few years. If now with our new stadium, we need to be real contenders fighting for the Premier League and for the Champions League and, and see and to find the, the tools to try to, to be there. Um, because after to win is, is tough. The same for Manchester City or Manchester United or Real Madrid or Barcelona. Investing a lot of money is so difficult to win because only one can win. And for us, uh, I think it's, a, it's going to be a, a, a challenge and it's going to be tough to find a way to be in the same level of them. Still, we are not there. I think it's true that we are competing in a very good level in the last few years, but I think it's a lot of work to do to arrive in the, in the last step or in the last level, in the level that we want to, to be in the future. OK, we've got time for one more just here. Thank you. <coughs> Training starts at five. So I see now, yes, open. it's time. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Maurizio, I know you've touched on this a little bit already, but before the first leg, you said it was the biggest game of your managerial career. If you are one, of, one of the... One of the biggest yes, yeah, because after the people say it's the biggest, uh, no, it's one of, of the, the best. You know, in Espanol, maybe playing for Survive uh, was... Uh, was massive because you know to be in, in, in La Liga or to be in, in Championship or in Second Division, for the club, for the fans, for the player, for the family was I think maybe more important than the, that the game, you know, and one of the most important, of course, okay. yes, one of the most significant yes. games Good. you manage your career. Um, with that in mind, if you are successful tomorrow, how significant would that be for you personally? Tomorrow, how in, in if you win? How significant? I, I am not thinking about win or lose tomorrow. I think we are so focused in trying to, to be ready to, to fight and, and to challenge them and to try to enjoy and to try to be sure that we are going to performance in the way that we want. I think uh, maybe it's, it's, it's a strange, but that is my, it's my point. That is, is my view and that is how I, I feel. You know, um, I am not thinking in win or lose. I am. We are thinking in trying to to arrive in the best condition, and and the most uh, concern for for us is is to is to performance in the way that we want to performance. And for sure, if we perform, uh, our performance is going to be in the way that we want. For sure, we are going to have a possibility to to be 
on the semi-final. But I think it's a, it's a massive race, it's, it's so far away, maybe it's only 24 hours, but uh, you know, uh, in that type of competition, you must to be focused in, in performance because um, all that is going to happen after the game uh, must to be related with your performance, your belief in the way that you prepare, keep energy and spend the energy in the right moment. A lot of circumstances that you cannot affect because you know you cannot affect the referee decision, you cannot affect some, some issue or some situation uh, from the VAR that may be penalty or no penalty or is red card or is no red card. You know that type of situation maybe you cannot uh, control. That is why you cannot uh, spend energy thinking in that and thinking after. I think it's a massive mistake. Happen what happened, like say Hugo, we are going to feel so proud tomorrow. Hope and wish that uh, we will be in the in the semi final. If not, to congratulate Manchester City because for sure deserve to be there. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.